first thing you get out of it is you have a chance for your team to play on uh, uh, multiple sets of plays. You know, so you have to, you've got to start to amp up the repetitions that your players are getting live. When we have a practice, you may do ten plays live. You know, and now you want to be able to when you have an inter squad scrimmage, you want to be able to be able to have your the guys that are going to play in the game for you. You want to be able to, for them to have 35, 40 reps because come game time. You know, they may have 65, 70, who knows, with special teams, some guys 80. So you, you don't want to take them that far, but you do want to get them up to game speed as close as possible. Test their conditioning, see what level they're at with that, how quickly they can recover uh, from one series to the next. And really for Saturday for us was strictly an individual evaluation. So we, were not, we weren't looking at schemes or, or how well did the offense produce in the red zone. We're more concerned with each individual player, what their progress was at this point in camp, how well were they performing the fundamentals, and what was their level of play, how could they help us. So before we move into actually planning, uh, game planning, an opponent, or, or fine-tuning our schemes, we want to make sure we have the right people on the bus and we have them in the right seats, and that's, that's what Saturday was. We're, 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 we're way ahead in terms of our conditioning. Our conditioning is the best that it's ever been. Uh, and we're way ahead in terms of the uh, amount of injuries. And so that, that's a positive, meaning, meaning our, our injuries have, have lessened over the course of camp. Uh, knock on wood. Because, because we're in better shape. You know, players know how to handle their bodies. You have less of the uh, groins, hamstrings, those kind of things that, that tend to come up during camp. So I'm very pleased with that. I'm pleased with uh, uh, our receiving core as a whole. Shane Savage has continued to improve, came on in the spring, continued to improve. Ratio Blackman. Steven Layuza is doing the best he's ever done as a, as a slot receiver. He's really coming into that role. Brian Walters is, is exceptional. Had a return for a touchdown in the scrimmage. Uh, very productive. And, uh, Ryan Hauska has been an excellent move for us to tight end. He seems like a guy who can really get down the field. Our offensive line has uh, begun to gel, but still needs a lot of work. Matt Green, who moved from defense, uh, and will be moving up to the first team, uh, which I believe is a, is a great uh, testament to Matthew Alou when we picked that up, and, and that his conditioning has gotten better, and, and it really helps our offensive line. Quarterback situation, uh, you know, Ben Ganter was a starter. Ben, ben, I think, had one turnover, so that's really what we're looking for from, from Ben is to, is to manage the game well, uh, make good decisions. And uh, Chris Amrein, our freshman quarterback, has really begun to challenge for that second team spot. I think he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a bright spot. Running backs, you know, Randy continued, he gets better. Every practice, he makes some cuts and things that he didn't make a year ago. Uh, Marcus Hendren, Troy Lewis, they're all very capable there. And the two freshmen, uh, Milady and Moody, uh, are the best running back recruits that we've had. And they've proven to be that. And they're going to play this year, but not a running back special teams. So they'll be involved. Defensively, um, I was pleased with, with the way that group has has. has begun to really focus on preventing the big play, you know, through pursuit and conditioning and being in shape and being able to run. Um, they seem to really be able, starting to gel, and the front is coming together with Ricky Ballou, who was out with an injury, you know, Neil Chang, Farland, Hugh Stewart. There are freshmen that are going to play there. Um, our linebacking core, Costello, has continued to have a very uh, productive camp. And, and Brandon Lanehart, who was out all last year, is going to be a great plus for us. So, I mean, I, I, the defense really uh, dominated the scrimmage, and that's that's what you want to see right now if you're going to have a good defense, because the defense should be ahead of the offense. And, and if your defense is going to is going to be able to have a, a productive season, they should be ahead right now, and, and, and they're doing that. So, uh, special, we got we got some live special teams work, which I think is very important. You don't you hesitate to do that sometimes because of the possible the possibility of injury. But uh, Coach Paquette has worked so hard on special teams fundamentals. We actually saw them show up. I mean, we can we can point out on film now, uh, particularly on Brian Walters' touchdown, uh, 
situations from last year. I believe it was uh, Princeton where we had a punt return call back for a touchdown. We had the same block occur where uh, John, John Shiler, you know, performed the right technique and didn't get called for a block in the back. So uh, there are a lot of good things we can show on film right now to our team. And uh, we'll keep them believing that all the work that we're doing, you know, from camp has paid off. Coming up against Hobart, I really want to see us execute, uh, execute our systems well, you know, with the ones and the twos. And they're not going to play that much. I mean, the ones will play one quarter, the twos will play, play a quarter, and, and then we'll turn it over to the, the JV guys. And uh, so for the ones and twos, now that we think we have the right people in the right places, we want to see that they execute our system, take care of the football, um, stop the run on defense, you know, get our running game going on offense. So we're at that point now we play somebody else that we need to see that they actually understand how all the pieces fit together.